We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction, back with some more Smiths. And we're back for the final tune on their 1984 uh, self-titled debut album. Uh, and the track is Suffer Little Children. Now, again, uh, for those of you who know, um, or for those of you who don't know, I'm an editor. I like edit academic manuscripts in a few different um, genres. Ultimately, you know, I come from the world of history, but when you work in editing, you don't just edit like the, or the field that you come from. Regardless, the point is the editor's brain in me is thinking that, you know, if it were a, a command or a request, suffer little children, there would be a comma. So obviously song titles don't have to abide by like normal syntactical or punctuation rules. Um, but I suspect it might be more an articulation of the phrase like you don't suffer something, you don't um, endure something for whatever reason, you know, I will not suffer this for X, Y, Z, um, or like I was made to suffer the indignities of such and such. So, you know, suffer little children, you know, it might be getting at, you know, sort of the experience and maybe the travails and tribulations of trying to raise children in a sort of, you know, complicated emotional world and so on. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it's, it's a cryptic, if also like slightly unsettling phrase, because um, you certainly don't want little children to suffer, not unless you are very vindictive and mean-spirited. So, um, yeah, it's, it's an odd phrase, but a sort of evocative one, and it makes you want to know more. So, again, if I were to, you know, try to give my best guess in terms of where it might be headed, it might relate to, you know, raising children and all the sort of um, excitements, but also, you know, darker or at least more frustrating and um, struggling uh, aspects of raising um, young people into adults. So, again, that might not have nothing to do with it, uh, but I have really enjoyed this um, album. Once again, I do know some Smith's material uh, because an old girlfriend of mine was a big fan of their tunes, though as I've gone through this album, I've realized that by and large, this was not the album that she spent her time listening to because um, most of the tunes I know from her um, from them, like Hang the DJ, Big Mouth Strikes Again, um, uh, what's the one, the... Oh, I'm forgetting Charming Man, or like, I forget, I think the title's longer than that. Uh, but yeah, all those songs were not on this album. So uh, as it turns out, I now understand that she liked The Smiths, but apparently she didn't listen much to the first album. So uh, in any case, that personal anecdote aside, uh, I've really enjoyed this album. Uh, and it does make me understand why they have such like a, I don't want to say a cult following. I think they're very popular. It's not like a niche band. Um, but again, the fact that they were an indie group that made that level of impact, and, and despite their short lifespan as a group, uh, the fact that people continue to be excited by their music and to talk about their music and to, you know, begin to react to their music, I think is a testament to their quality, which I now have a sense of, um, even more than my limited experience when I was younger. Regardless, let's get it. This is The Smiths, Suffer Little Children, the final tune on their 1984 self-titled album. Hands on his sacred head, in the way 
like this is more like a geography piece it's more like what it was like to grow up an area and the sort of challenges that kids in that area face as they get older I still might be completely off base but the lines like Manchester you have so much to answer for um, and sort of you know like the sights and the smells like in this area so it sounded like it was more like a, a geography based assessment of some sort of process or again so what it's like to come of age in that area uh, but do let me know if I'm still off base there um, as I said it, the, sonically I feel like it's just like the perfect ending to the album I'll admit it maybe wasn't my favorite song from the album that like a couple of the like melodic transitions maybe didn't work quite as well as some of the other songs but I did enjoy it I, I would give that like a solid B plus A minus um, but I would say my favorite song on the album as we come to an end Probably what difference does it make? Um, that one really hit me strongly. I liked uh, Miserable Lie a lot. Um, that one is cool and in part because it's such a like crazy um, explosion uh, as it goes into the tune, but um, ultimately I'd say yeah, uh, what difference does it make was probably my favorite on the album. So uh, really cool album. Looking forward to going on to the next one. Uh, shout out to Han Solo for making this stuff available to me. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>